Details from the courts tonight in connection to the murder of a young Omaha woman uh, during a hail of gunfire at a house party. And dealing with the tragedy doesn't get any easier for Carly Wood's family as Christmas approaches. Brian Mastry talked with her family and he joins us now live from the newsroom. Brian. Lauren Carly Wood's family came to the Douglas County Courthouse this afternoon to see it for themselves. Ultimately, they want to see two things, that they get justice and that no one forgets Carly. Detectives believe this man fired the fatal shots that killed a young Omaha woman during an early morning house party in mid-November. His name, Imhotep Davis. He's 25. He's a convicted felon times four. He'll stay in jail now until trial. The victim's mother believes the system failed her daughter. I mean, it doesn't change anything. It, my daughter's not coming home, but at least he's not going to be able to be out and be a felon with a gun like he was with her. Um, I just feel like things need to change. I don't know what that looks like, but something's got to change where someone who has more than four felonies is able to be out with a gun and shoot someone that's innocent. Carly Wood was just 20 when she was killed. Her family says she was saving up to buy a house, start a business. The mass shooting at the November 13th birthday party left eight people shot. Some of the victims were also shooters. Investigators say there were four different guns used at the scene at 34th and Ames. Nobody's talking about it. Nobody's standing up for Carly. She literally went there for 10 minutes to support some friends and say hello. Amberwood wants to make sure others don't forget her daughter's name, Carly. That somehow, some way, She's able to impact a justice system that seems to give too many chances to felons. Carly loved the holidays, and Carly was the biggest gift giver that you would probably ever meet. She loved giving people gifts. All of her friends will attest to that. And when she received a gift, she would just smile ear to ear. Even if she didn't like it, she would just be like, oh, this is so cool. So we're going to miss that. Um, I don't know what Christmas is going to look like because every day we wake up and it's different. You can just hear the sadness, John and Lauren. So let's talk about what's even more disappointing about this for the family. As they say, Carly went to see some friends at that early morning house party and that, that there are people who saw stuff happen, the shooters and what transpired, but for some reason aren't talking about it and telling police that they saw. That's frustrating for them. Live in the newsroom, Brian Mastry, oh. 6 News.